Grotesquely, the places attacked in Paris tonight are the definition of soft targets. Restaurants, bars, the stadium, a theater, a shopping center. All in central locations. All places full of people with their guards down. Not traditional tourist locations per se. These were haunts for Parisians, which seems to have been the point. Punish France, but for what precisely? Witnesses talk of hearing one gunman shout that this was for Syria. Which means certain places will be closed. The French president, not long after fleeing the stadium, announced France was closing its borders. From reporters on the ground, that seemed aimed as much at keeping people in as keeping others out. France has never done this, by the way. The military has also been mobilized, and Paris is now under curfew, and that hasn't happened since the Second World War. It was the U.S. president who first said out loud what seemed so obvious to those watching, that these were coordinated attacks. They must have been, and the weaponry described, AK-47s, gas cylinders packed with shrapnel, familiar tools of al-Qaeda or ISIS-inspired groups, Certainly to terror analysts, the whole night is familiar. This is an attack that's not just assigned to uh, be an act of terrorism, which is one often done, but rather to paralyze the city for an extended period, to do maximum damage casualty-wise, and to uh, basically enrapture the world, make people pay attention to it. It's an attack style that we saw used in Mumbai, India back in 2008, replicated to some extent in uh, Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya, with uh, an attack at the Westgate Mall, which used the same principles. And while no one yet knows who did this, certainly ISIS supporters are celebrating online, promising more to come in cities around the world. That is typical, almost daily talk for them. But on nights like this one, those words chill security agencies. Especially because this is France. Look at where these attacks occurred. Café Cambodge, one of the stricken spots tonight, is just an eight-minute walk from the offices of Charlie Hebdo, so viciously attacked in January. (laughs) Paris perhaps thought that was the worst that could happen. So raw. Unnerving, too, is that French intelligence is among the best in the world. The entire country has been at the highest alert possible since January. It's now at a newly created level called Alpha. You have a number of different factors that have made it much more likely that something like this could occur. Uh, One of them is the Syria-Iraq conflict, with a large number of Europeans having gone over to fight there. Uh, You have the uh, disclosure of details of of Western surveillance programs, which makes it easier for militants to avoid detection. And you also have a proliferation of encryption technologies, which can thwart surveillance efforts. Parisians are already talking of their resilience, again, offering places to strangers to seek shelter publicly saying they are not afraid. And listen to this. Soccer fans singing the anthem as they are evacuated from the stadium. United, yes, but you must know the security agencies are deeply nervous in this moment, and they likely aren't the only ones. Adrian Arsenault, CBC News, Toronto.